In this video, I'm gonna show you how to train an AI project in Claude to write picture perfect copy for LinkedIn. This one is an example right here. This post that you see right here was 100% written by Claude. I didn't even read it. And it generated 1,620 comments, 17 reposts, and 496 likes, almost 100,000 impressions on my feed. If you scroll through all of my content on LinkedIn, everything here is written by this exact same project that I'm gonna show you how to build step-by-step, step, including this little tweet screen here, including all this little kitschy copy with all these little cute emojis. Let's get into it. talking a lot lately about how I've been using AI to do all of my writing, whether it's blog posts, whether it's video scripts, whether it's emails or LinkedIn copy. But in this video, we're going to talk specifically about the nuances of copy that you need for LinkedIn because it's different than copy elsewhere. So quickly, there's four keys to success here. One is you need a unique input, aka a thesis. Now, I just gave an entire presentation inside the Blueprint training on exactly what a thesis is. This is a core belief or a unique or a unique perspective that shapes how your business approaches this industry or really differentiate yourself. It's kind of like a USP, but for marketing, not for sales. And this is incredibly important in the world of AI because if you don't have unique inputs, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get generic outputs. Everything that you put in, if you're like, hey, write me 10 LinkedIn posts about XYZ topic, it's not gonna understand how to create something unique using your voice, using your style that really stands out. Now I'm gonna show you how to build the project to get all the other inputs, including the thesis, but if you want to understand how to build a thesis, make sure to join the Blueprint Training, 199 bucks. I just gave a full lesson on it inside of a full scope about how to generate leads for your business. Now, number two here, keys to success, is you need to understand the desired end state. In other words, if you don't know what good LinkedIn copy looks like, you're never going to be able to get good LinkedIn copy out of it because you've got to know what the desired end state looks like. Key to success number three is the project knowledge. So inside of Claude, they're called projects. Inside of ChatGPT, they're called GPTs, whatever LLM that you're using, there's different ways that you can train something specifically to feed it information that can then refer back to when you're when you're deploying the use of that. Inside of Claude, it's called a project. So let's talk about the specifics of what you need to feed it inside of Claude. So again, number one is your thesis. I'm gonna show you my thesis that I fed to it. This is so it understands what it's arguing every single post. Every single time you give it something, it understands what the core underlying arguments are. Two are going to be hooks and open loops. So the most important part of any piece of copy, especially LinkedIn, is going to be the first two sentences because that's what gets people to stop and click read more. And that's what sends the engagement signals back to LinkedIn that this is a good post and needs to get served more to other people's feeds. So that hook or that open loop, that piques curiosity is incredibly important. We want to make sure we train the AI exactly how to write those. Three is going to be copy framework. So you see all the different styles of posting on LinkedIn. They're short, they're choppy, they use emojis, they use questions, they use all these different things. We want to feed all those to all those to the project so it knows exactly how to do it. Your writing style and formatting. What's your tone? Are you chippy? Are you professional? We want to make sure that we understand that we want to make sure that the AI understands that. Of course, we want to provide writing examples and then any templates that you might have for LinkedIn. Again, I'm going to show you all the ones that I fed to mine. And then the final key to success here after the project knowledge, number four is just the first result is never the final result. So you can give it the most detailed prompt in the world. But again, if you don't understand the desired end state of what it's supposed to look like, and you just leave it at that, you're going to get garbage out. And this is something that whenever I talk about uh, using AI copy or blog writing or anything, people are like, yeah, like, it, human writing is better. It's like, yeah, because anybody can just go in and fart stuff out of chat GPT. My, my dog can do it. <laughs> but if you don't know how to iterate with it, if you know how to go back and forth and adjust it and tweak it, then you're going to get crap. Just point blank. So these are the four keys to success. Let's go ahead and jump on over to Claude and let me show you how to build the project. I'll show you the exact project that I built to do this. So you're going to need a professional plan here inside of Claude. And when we come over here to projects, we come over here and this is my personal copywriter. So again, this is for writing on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, really more for social copy. And over here on the right hand side, what you see is this project knowledge. So what you can do is you can add content, you can upload it, you can add it from just core text, or you can upload documents from Google Drive. So, so remember when it comes to building the project, there's six different things that we wanna feed it. Writing examples, writing style formatting, I just literally dropped it some of my most engaging posts ever. I want to make sure that it understands the style, the formatting, the short choppy sentences, and also some context of what I usually talk about. So you can grab a couple of LinkedIn posts. Now, 
you don't have LinkedIn posts, guess what? All you have to do is find influencers on LinkedIn and you just have to copy and paste <laughs> their most engaging posts. So if you go to somebody's profile, just a little hack here, you can come to my profile for an example. You can find what people are talking about by coming down here and then going to show all posts. And then you can just scroll down and you can look for the most engaging posts. You can look for ones that you like, ones that you want to emulate. You can just get an idea. So you should build a small list of influencers that you follow on LinkedIn. And then, you know, you can just rip a lot of what they're doing if you don't have a baseline for what you should be talking about here. Now, here's some information on using open loop. So what are open loops? Well, I just grabbed this from Google. So if you come to Google and Google open loops, copywriting, Right? You can just come here, <laughs> click on these, and you can copy and paste these directly into your project. So if you come here and just copy all this, you can just come here into Claude, add content, add text, and then paste it in. I already have this information, so I don't need to put it in. So I've got my open loops. I've got my copywriting framework here too. So remember I said you need a copy framework. I like to use what's called the PAS Problem Agitate Solution Copywriting Framework. So it's just a way that keeps all content on the same format and really drills into problems. I'm a big believer that all marketing should be drilled into people's problems. So if you come here again and just type in PAS Copy Framework, Again, there's tons of information here that you can rip and grab. So again, this is what I'm talking about too, about you have to understand the desired end state of what it's going to, because if you can't feed it this information, then quite frankly, you're just going to end up with very generic crap coming out of here. So also about hooks, same thing. I literally copied a couple blog posts about how to write hooks. These things are really, really important to feed this. Now, the two things now, to me, the most important thing here also is the thesis. This thesis is what's going to differentiate it from all the stuff that I feed it to make sure it's uniquely me. So again, how do you generate a thesis? Well, I've got an entire training inside of the blueprint that's going to teach you how to generate a thesis, why it's so critical. Uh, and I even train you on how to use AI to really design it and do it for you. You just have to give it the right prompts and input. So again, a thesis is your unique value. If you go to my agency here, you'll get a pretty good idea of what our thesis is. It's this concept of blended search. So if you read this here, like this little piece right here will give you a good idea of what our thesis is. Your law firm struggling uh, because your strategy is outdated. When you search for your law firm's main keyword, what do you see? Ads, local listings, organic listing, LSAs, content. There's a lot of noise. To get meaningful results, you need to show up in all parts of search. We deploy a blended search strategy that puts your firm everywhere. That can not just drive leads, but high value cases. So blend, this concept of blended search, the strategy that we use that tackles all parts of search here is what we deploy at our agency. Now that's not the one that I fed here because this little project that I have here is not for my agency. This is for me personally. So I have this thesis that you personally, the entrepreneur are the business in the world of AI, in the world of you know, crap online business models like drop shipping and all this different stuff. The most valuable thing that I think you can do is invest in your skill set and build your skill set. So this is written by ChatGPT by feeding it a prompt and it spit out this thesis that you are the business. So again, when I write copy, when I want my LinkedIn bot to write copy, I want the thesis to be folded in there. And then the final thing that I have here is a PDF that I got from this guy, Justin Welsh. He goes through and he he drops 50 of his most engaging post templates inside of here. It's a PDF. You can upload PDFs directly to this. And now, uh, again, my LinkedIn bot now is now trained on this stuff. So let's put this thing to use here. I just wrote a book on local SEO, right? So I have this book. It's for our agency. I know I said I wasn't doing it, but I'm going to do it anyways. Um, it's a local SEO playbook. It's for our agency. Now, I've got a PDF, but I've also got this document here, right? So I've got this. Um, now, this could be a blog post. This could be a book. This could be... This could be anything, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed it to this, right? And it's going to load it here. And then I'm going to give it a prompt. Okay, so this prompt says, I need help writing LinkedIn posts for the book that I attach right here. I want to be able to generate a month's worth of LinkedIn posts, one per day, that each tackle a different part of the book. So, for example, I don't want you to summarize the entire book, but rather grab chapters or sections that will lend great to LinkedIn content. Let's start one post at a time. Keep it short, punchy, and following the specifics of the knowledge that I gave you. I want to see short, engaging hooks that speak to my target audience. Lawyers, I want to see problem solutions clearly laid out. And I want you to use the LinkedIn swipe file that I gave you to really contextualize formatting for LinkedIn. So let's go ahead and give it to it, and let's see what it comes up with.
So here's the first one that it came up with. Legal PPC is burning your money. I like this. Why do I like this hook? Because one, it qualifies the audience. It's legal. Two, it talks about a problem, right? So when it comes to writing hooks, those two things are key. I put that in the knowledge and I love to see it when it comes out like that. And anytime you talk about money, it really stops to get people's attention. So legal PPC is burning your money. I like that. That's a good hook. Here's what a modest monthly ad campaign costs in 2025. High clicks, a lot of budget, not a lot of leads and clients. You're paying 15 to 20K per qualified lead. This number is wrong. Uh, so I'm going to want to change that. I'll probably change that manually, to be honest with you, uh, before you even sign them. This is why smart law firms are shifting to local SEO. Same leads, same cases, no, no per click costs. Want to learn how? I wrote a definitive playbook on local SEO for law firms. Now, I actually do like this, but I don't like to do a lot of these comment posts. So I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it two, two prompts back. So, so I told it I didn't like this, uh, this, this sentence here because I, I, from working with lawyers, I know that's not right. So I just had to remove it. And then I said, um, I don't want this to be a comment throw, thread post. Let's just end with a call to action to grab a copy of the book through the link in my comments. So this is good. Now we got one post here. <clears throat> It's done. <laughs> uh, so now we can say, so now it wants to do another one, right? So we, this is one post per one day, right? Now, how long did that take? We've been on this video for about 10 minutes. I'm also slowing down so I can explain it to you to go through all this stuff. Um, and this is, would you like me to draft another post focus on a different section of book, uh, maps pack rankings. So let's do one on maps pack rankings. Right. So again, this is great because now this is just going to keep on pulling and extracting from the book. Now you might say, I don't have a book. I didn't write a book. Well, guess what? You can get other people's books. Um, you know, I'm not telling you to steal other people's content, but if there's a book that you love and there's a book that, uh, or a blog post that you love, um, or a video that you love, if you have this information elsewhere, all you have to do is extract the text version of it. So a book, you get the PDF, you can upload it. Blog posts, copy and paste it, you can upload it and you can have it rewrite it and use it for promotional posts. You can feed it a series of blog posts and say combine all these into one and then let's use that as the core information here. Uh, you can get somebody's video and then get that video transcribed using AI and then dump the transcript and then say write me a month's worth of content or a week's worth of content or even one day's worth of content if that's all that you want to do. So it's really that simple, y'all. Um, I have been using this to write tweets. I've been using this to write my LinkedIn copy. We'll do other videos on email and ads, but I wanted to focus this one specifically on LinkedIn because I haven't been on LinkedIn in a while. <laughs> I come on LinkedIn and I go to this feed here and I'm like, this is a complete wasteland. But the fact of the matter is, is that it still drives a lot of engagement, but to sit down and write the copy, it's just too much. Like, why would you do that when you can use this exact same process that I just showed you, which will speed it up like that. So, so if you want to dive deeper into this, honestly, the, the, the core thing here, you can copy and paste everything I just gave you. But if you don't know how to develop a thesis, the unique mechanism that's going to make your brand stand out, the unique mechanism that's going to allow you to use AI, you need to learn how to do this. It's all inside of the blueprint training for just $199. There's a link below or just comment on this video and I'll send it to you. So make sure to like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, Ryan here. Hope you liked that video. If you want more, check out these two videos right here on the screen.